quick introduction to Big Red. It's a 2005 Volkswagen T5 1.9. Was a normal transporter, but now been fully converted to camper van. So our camper van journey started on Gumtree when we saw this advert. We called the guy up and went to take a look at the vehicle. Quite surprised it was in good condition. The interior looked quite good. He'd already started to do a bit of a self build in the back. But it wasn't exactly what we needed. But we decided to buy the van anyway as it was such a good price. We even got £250 knocked off the asking price. Once we got the van home we decided to do a start off for a few little jobs. So we done the brakes first because they needed new discs and pads and full set of tyres right round. The next job was to decide what we were going to do with the interior that the previous owner had already built inside. We decided to sell the rock and roll bed and the units that came with the van on Gumtree and ended up getting £500 for both items. This means that our van actually now only cost us 4000 The next job was a real cheap one. We bought some bumper spray paint from Halfords and done all the plastic on the van and also managed to do the door handles with this black and it made a massive difference to the way the vehicle actually looks. The next job was another cheap one, getting rid of that 8 ball gear knob and replacing it with an original one. It was a cheap job, only costing around £8 and made a big difference to the look of the van. The next job was going to be a little harder and required the help of a good friend, Kev. We actually fitted a diesel heater, which meant we had to drill the floor underneath the driver's seat to install this. Kev was the guy who was on his back and under the van helping out. Absolute star. Next, we had to get rid of this red carpet that was in the back of the van and replace it with something a bit more practical. So we used LVT and just stuck this directly to the flooring base, uh, which was the plywood. We also added new seat covers to the van, which made a big difference to the look. We also put a swivel base onto the passenger side as well, to give us more room in the van. We then had to purchase a few items just so we could make a start on uh, building the units inside the van. So we bought a fridge off Amazon, we bought the sink off Amazon, we also bought this uh, gas hob off Amazon as well. Now that we had the fridge, sink and gas hob we were able to make a start on the carcasses for the kitchen unit. This was made with 12mm plywood. We knew from the start that we want a solid wood top on our kitchen units and managed to find an excellent solid oak table on Gumtree that cost only £80 and there was enough wood on that to do the tops of the units and also create additional shelving in the van. Our original plan was to paint the units blue but as time went on we decided that this wasn't actually the right colour so we decided to change it which you'll see a little bit later. Again with the help from Kev made a start on the base units. We decided to do a U-shape seating arrangement as we thought this would actually work out better for our needs. We used plywood for the top of the units, also drilled the holes so we've still got ventilation so once we get the cushions in this can still breathe. The build was going really well. We even made the centre section of this removable so that we can easily store my mobility scooter when required. The bed section just sits on the seat area to the right and when required just pulls out from underneath the cushions and actually makes quite a large double bed. Next we use the MDF panelling to clad around all of the base units and as you can see this panelling is a really nice colour green. This is why we changed the colour of the van once we saw this green. As you can see we made the cupboard doors and the draft fronts and painted everything in a lovely sage green. We then added the hob and the sink and the top to the solid wood top and then added a little surround around the, where the burners are. We then ordered the cushions online uh, for all the base units and the backs. We then covered all the cushions with a matching tartan material and it's made such a difference to the inside of the van. As you can see in the pictures the U-shape works really well. I will be doing a full video of van tour, um, but in the meantime I hope you really enjoyed this video 
I know it's a short one, but it gives you a little insight in what we actually done in acquiring the van and how we done a quick build on it. When I say a quick build, I was expecting to have this done in a month, but it actually took around six months. But anyway, if you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe, and leave any comments. Okay, until next time, bye.